Hi friends. Well, the house is painted. Looking pretty good back there, isn't it? I came out here to show you what's going on in the lake. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. They've opened up the gates uh, on the river that comes into the lake a couple of days ago. Maybe I'll go up on the roof and you can get a better view of it. And to show you all of the crap that's in the water. When they open up the... Oh goody, he just started the lawnmower. Uh, when they open up the gates in the river that comes into the lake, we get a lot of this stuff. It's not just Lirio, it's huge big plants and pieces of trees and, and this goes for miles. And when the wind blows, it'll all come to either this shore or the other shore or whichever way the wind's blowing. So we might have a green carpet halfway out into the lake in the morning. What happened to your hair? <laughs> huh? Somebody chopped it off. Let me see the back. Walk around me. And you got a permanent. And I got a permanent. Well, very nice. I spent all your money. Pretty cute. And look at my toenails. Oh, you had your toes done, too. Yes. Oh. oh, I can't get my hair done if I'm going to have naked toes. So are you about ready to travel north? Um, about. What are we going to do with this bucket full of beets over here? Yeah, these. Did you ask Condito if he wanted any? Some of them are kind of screwy. Uh, I didn't yet, but I will. I don't know. I was thinking about pickling some. What do you think? Mm -mm. No? I'd rather eat a butter beet than a pickled beet. Oh, okay. Well, we could can them. Who could can them? We could. No, we couldn't can them. On my, on my job. Mm, I know. It's quite a, quite a harvest of them, though. So, as long as I got you, you know, people always want you to sing. You haven't sung for us for a long time. I had a request for that chicken song, too. Oh, the I Once Had a Chicken? That one? Yeah, that one. You want to sing it? Okay. You know, we've sung that before, but... We, we sung it, but we've had, had requests for it. And we have some new subscribers who haven't heard you sing, probably. What? We probably have some new subscribers who've never heard you sing. Oh, that's true. Are you ready? I'll sing with you. Okay. But I'm not going to be in the picture. Oh. Are you ready? Okay. You start, I'll follow you. Oh, I, I once had a chicken, chicken who would never, never lay an egg. So I poured, poured hot water up and down her leg. Oh, oh, the little chicky cried, and the little chicky begged, and the little chicky laid a hard-boiled egg. Did you notice what I did? Yes. What did I do? You raised your eyebrows. No, 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 no. And winked. No, you missed it. You, you have, that you, her. Right. For 40-some years, you have given me a bad time because I say... Up and down her leg. His leg. His leg, yeah. Never mind. Well, thank you. You got any more songs? Uh, Not today. I had one, but I can't remember what it was. Well, let me shut the camera off and see if you can remember it. Yeah. So you found a song to sing? Yeah. What? I am going to sing it to you. You're going to sing it to me? Yes. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. 
You make me happy when the skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Next time I get to pick the key. You always say that. <laughs> so, are you... Uh, anxious to leave Mexico and go to Arizona in the motorhome, or not? I'm Me not anxious to pack. <laughs> I'm not anxious to fight with you about what you pack. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't then. <laughs> you know, we've had this conversation before, and we may have had it on YouTube, okay? We have, uh, about packing, okay? I... I, I, I for years, I try to get you to pack, not what you need for five months, but what you need for five hours to get from here to there. Because I have everything I need in the motorhome. I have clothes, I have toothbrush, lucky, I have whatever. Lucky, lucky, The only thing that I need to call back and forth it's are me. things... <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> things I can't afford or don't want to afford to... Uh, duplicate like my camera equipment for instance yeah you and, and your drone I only need to haul back and forth what I need for five hours on a plane trip not what I need for five months well well that's very nice but I have clothes that I at home that I want to be in the motorhome, and I've got clothes in the motorhome that I don't want anymore. And I thought if I bought some new clothes, I'd be more inclined to pack up the other ones that I don't want. Didn't we just order you some new clothes on yeah, Amazon? Yeah, but we ordered them to go to Peter's house, so we don't have to haul them. Yeah. That was very smart. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't think I was smart enough to figure that out. <laughs> Whose idea was it? It was my idea. You lied. No, you lied. No, huh? I did. That's what I planned on doing. Oh, so you're not taking the new clothes that you ordered on Amazon that you have here? I might wear one. <laughs> on the plane. At least one, I would hope. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Well, I brought clothes home that fit me, and those clothes will be going back. Okay. Well, I think I lost this argument again. Uh, You're hauling clothes back and forth. I, uh, well, no, I won't have to bring them home. You have a full clothes? Because I have... A whole closet. You have a, a nearly walk-in closet in the motorhome. It, well, you couldn't walk in because it's full of clothes. There's, <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't stuff one more hanger into the rod. I'm going to get rid of them, and, and I'll have empty hangers to hang up the new clothes. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> So how many, I think I won this one. So how many suitcases are you packing? Just my one. That, that really big one? That really big one. Okay. Yeah. Good. So I have a suitcase also. So you're not putting any of your stuff in my suitcase? Oh, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're going to be gone for... Six months. No, I have to erase that now because um, there's the 183 day rule. What is that? If you stay in one state for more, for over 183 days, which is uh, six months, yes, they can ask you to pay state income tax. Oh, they wouldn't do that to us. Oh, yes, they. Do. Well, so well, we're going to stay 179 days. We're going to stay 183 at least, at the most. Anyway, 
Never mind that. Okay. We'll be back when we're back. I'm never minding it. And right we now. might not stay in Arizona the whole time we're there. Because if you leave the state and come back, then it doesn't count. Oh, I'm going to have to take some more clothes. <laughs> we're going to another state. <laughs> well, we might go like a few miles into California. We've done that before. Yes, we have. Yeah. Maybe New Mexico this year. No, that's where I left the chest pains. Well, in northern Excuse New Mexico. In me. northern New Mexico at 8,000 feet, yeah. But then that didn't bother me when we went to Colorado. That's because I didn't tell you it was 11,000 feet, going through the I Eisenhower asked all Tunnel. Yeah, well, you asked, but I lied to you, so you didn't bother you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you hear that? He, he lied to me. That's not a very husbandly thing to do. Well, actually, it was a very husbandly thing to do because if you'd have known we were at 11,000 feet, you'd have had a problem. <laughs> anyway, well, that's enough of that for now. I'm anxious to see the kids. Yeah, me too. I like those little buggers. Well, they're not so little anymore. No, they're not. Peter is. Is what? Is the little guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Pity pie. <laughs> So I'm sitting here editing for you, and I thought I'd throw in a picture of little Peter so that you could see that he's not so little, our son Peter. And I came across this while I was looking for a picture of him in my phone from last December. Huh? Mom goes first. Yeah, let's yeah, see. Hang on a second. Can you do your uh, uh, one eyebrow? She's doing it. Now do the other one. I can't do any of that stuff. Yeah, you Try can. it. Give it there. Yeah. Just do the eyebrows. <laughs> I can do both of them. Can you do just one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to be on this? Sure. I can only do my ears. Huh? Am I doing ears? Yeah, do ears. Okay. Hold on. Are you, Make, can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, amazing. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. The earring is smacking you in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's the hair. But the reason that we got started with this is because there's something. Actually, she was the reason. Yeah, she started no, no, no. it. She was yeah, the first. Yeah. Well, you finished it. Yeah, yeah. I did. I, everybody but else did. Tip your hand up because your hat's shading your. There you okay. Go. Okay. Now do the wave. Do the wave. You still, you still got shaded. Put yeah. You, that's all you get. Yeah, that's all you, you got get. it. We're you done. Got it. You're good. We're done. Okay, well, I hope this is recording because I have a note there on my camera that says it's not working right. A couple of projects I'm working on today. Let's go see what I did to lock up my ladders. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, there's rolling thunder. It's kind of distant, but it's very evident. So what I did was I ran a chain through the walls, very secured on the uh, inside of the bodega. So I wrap that around the ladder and lock it with my padlock. This is a... This is a serious padlock. Uh, I know some of you may know, but most of you probably do not know. I haven't talked about it for a long time. I have over a thousand antique padlocks. This particular one uh, comes from the Union Pacific Railroad and it was made to lock up a boxcar. And like I said, it's a serious lock. The reason that I'm locking up my ladders is because they're not the first two ladders I've owned. The others disappeared last year when we were up in Arizona in the motorhome. Uh, another project I've been working on is putting a new faucet in the kitchen sink. So here's a little bit about that.
Yep, got it done. Pulls out. New faucet. Working just fine. New valves underneath there. No leaks. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So you're asking me who I'm talking to. Mm-hmm. Take a guess. To use your camera. I'm talking to my friends. Yeah. How are you today? I'm fine. Well, this is really good. Came out here to share the thunder with you. We love the rainy season here. Maybe it's why we enjoy the warm, dry desert in the wintertime up in the southwest United States and never want to miss the monsoon rainy season here in central Mexico. We dry out and then we come back and hydrate. Love it. Oh, hello there. You having a hard time, huh? Are you having a hard time? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll help you in a minute. Yeah, I will. You want me to help you? Okay, I can help you. Let's see. How about... I know you've seen me dip rats out of the pool before, but if they keep <sighs> swimming in my pool, I'm going to keep dipping them out, and you're going to keep seeing it. Hey, here. Are you smart enough to climb up on this? Hey, psst. There. Come on up. Hold on. Come on. Oh, oh no. It's going to require a net. So I have two objectives. One is to get the rat in the net. And the other one is to not drop my camera in the water. Gotcha. I think you should live in the federal zone. You probably got some buddies out there because you're not the first guy I've caught swimming in my pool. You don't get to live in the net. Hop out. <laughs> Adios, Rato. <laughs> ah. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.